Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I have an Adobe XD dark themed app tutorial for you guys. We're gonna be creating a shopping cart with protection plan app design. And at the end of this video, make sure you guys vote in the poll at the very end. Uh, if you wanna see more screens of this design, I'll add like a part two to this and we can make some more screens in this theme and I can show you how I go about doing that. So if you guys are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell for more design tutorials and content related around UI UX design, just like this. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started with today's tutorial. So like usual, the project file will be down in the description and you can download that and I'll have all the colors, character styles and components you need for this design tutorial. So we're going to be using the XRXS Max iPhone artboard, which is 414 pixels wide and 896 pixels tall. So once you've downloaded the project file, we can go ahead and get started. So first thing, let's take advantage of the guides and start placing those down. So we're gonna put one on the left hand side, 30 pixels from the left side of the artboard, and the other one is gonna be 60 pixels from the right. So your design is gonna be a little bit asymmetrical, everything's gonna be shifted a little bit to the left, and because of that, we're gonna align a lot of our elements to the left hand side as well. It should add for a nice effect. For the top, I'm gonna to drag one down, and this is gonna be the baseline for our navigation, and we'll put that at 86 pixels from the top of the artboard. So to begin with, I'm gonna go ahead and set this to a black color. This is straight zero, so default black. First things first, let's go ahead and start with our navigation. We'll zoom in here. And I already have the component for you. This is, I believe, from box icons. This is the back arrow icon. And we're just gonna set that right on that baseline. And since we're gonna be aligning a lot of our text elements on this left guide, I'm actually gonna shift this over until that point touches that guide. So everything looks nice just like that. For this project, we have all the character styles already over here. So if I click edit on one of these, you'll see we're using Proxima Nova for this project. And for our heading, we're gonna go with 21 size font and semi bold. So let's go ahead and add some text on the screen. And since this is a shopping cart, I'll just go ahead and add that text right there. And we'll set that to our heading font. And we're gonna put this about 50 pixels below our arrow icon. So I'm holding Alt and hovering over that with this selected. And that'll tell me how far we are from that. So we're gonna go down Few more pixels until we get to 50 making sure we're aligning that on that left hand guide right there below that let's add some rectangles and these are going to be for the images and for each image we'll have a price the title of what the product is and we'll have a button over here to either remove it from the cart or view more settings so we'll just do a basic rectangle for now and then next to that we're going to type in a price, I'm gonna do $3,499.99. So I'm gonna set this to our body size text, which is 17 point font. And I'm gonna leave this at medium font weight. And so we'll just align that about 15 pixels or so to the right of our image right there. I'm gonna hold Alt and create a duplicate of this text. And I'm gonna set that to our small font. So this is our secondary font and it is 15 point. And I'm gonna lower the opacity down on this to 70% so that our price and this text doesn't clash. So we have a bit of contrast there. And then here we'll put our product name. You can put anything you'd like. I'm just gonna do a PC and we'll say it's a custom build. So that is our product. And since we've lowered that opacity, it kind of gives it a grayish fill. So we don't have to set that ourselves, so that's nice. And the spacing here will go about four pixels below that. So I'm gonna zoom out and just take a look at what we have so far. So this text is decent size, so I think I'm gonna scale this up. Let's go with like 100 uh, by 70, let's try that. And maybe we'll add some border radius to this. Maybe just zoom in here. We'll drag that in. How's that looking? All right, so let's take this text and we'll center it vertically and we'll put 15 spacing like we had. Let's take a look at that. It looks pretty good. So we have this nice large image with our product text beside it. All right, so I've imported another component and I'll have this in the project file as well. This is just gonna be three dots for like a more option. And so I'm gonna take this and I'm going to align this to the right hand guide. And then I'm gonna center it up with the price tag right there. 
Uh, so this would be how you'd go about deleting this from the cart maybe or changing some kind of settings. Maybe you wanna change the build a little bit. Uh, that's kind of the thought process behind that. Let's see how much spacing we have below this. So right now we're just kind of wireframing everything out and then we'll worry about everything uh, later. So let's just push this down just a bit, go about 30, and we'll drag out a duplicate of this entire grouping. And if we have 30 spacing here, we don't want that in between these items because we wanna show the relationship between these. So maybe we lower it down to maybe 25 or so. So I'm just gonna go down five pixels with my arrow key and see how that looks. It's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna add a third product just to take a look at the overall feel of this. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so on this one, we'll just change this to maybe we're buying like a monitor with this. So 427. 99 for the monitor and then we'll just say it's like an Alienware 25 inch monitor I think I spelled that right there we go okay and I think that's what we'll do for our current shopping cart well, let's add another section since these are pretty pricey maybe they have some warranties or protection plans that go with them and here we'll just need quite a bit of spacing below that to show it's a new section. So we'll do about 80 pixels for now. Down here, I'm gonna take one of these rectangles. I'm just gonna rotate it 90 degrees and we'll just scale it up quite a bit and we'll put it below there. What do we do up here? 30 pixels below the text just to have some consistency. And we might make this a little bit wider see how this looks if we do like a, a card swipe so they can swipe through the different protection plans and add and edit them from here. So how much space we have there? 15. So that's even. Let's see how that looks. So I think I'm liking that. We'll leave that alone for now. Uh, next, we're going to have our total price down here at the bottom. So I'm going to grab this text and just drag it down here. We also need to change this. Uh, let's go with protection plans. There we go. And down here, we're gonna have the current price. So let's say we add these two together and then maybe we'll have one protection plan added. So let's just go ahead and change that to a different color so we remember. And we'll say that's like 99.99. So I'm gonna go and add that up real quick. So I added all those numbers and we'll just paste that in. It's $4,027.97. And I'm gonna hold Alt and create a duplicate of this text. And here I'll just say estimated total. Cause we're not gonna add tax or anything here. We'll have to do that on like a checkout screen if we were gonna design that. And I'm gonna drop this down to our tertiary size font, extra small font. And since this is full opacity, the price, we're gonna drop this down to 70% to match what we got going on up here. That way we have some contrast. And for the spacing on this, we did four up top, but I think since this is smaller, it's gonna be too much. So let's drop that down to maybe three. Yeah, I'm liking that. And then how much room do we have from the bottom? Let's just go ahead and bump that up to 50 pixels from the bottom of the artboard. I think that'll be a pretty good spot to have this. And then I'll just create a rectangle. We'll have some kind of button over here that's aligned on this right side guide and we'll center that up. And that'll be for next to go to the shopping cart or may say checkout or something. So let's go ahead and toggle off these guides, which is command or control semicolon on the keyboard that will toggle that on and off. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit the live preview here as well. Take a full size look at it. That wireframe's pretty good. I think, uh, I think that'll work. I might wanna make these a little bit larger, maybe add a little bit more spacing. Yeah, so okay, we'll go with that. And I'm just gonna call this wireframe. It's not really an exact wireframe, it's got a little bit of color in there, but that'll do for a wireframe. And then we'll just call this one design. And that is Command D with the artboard selected to duplicate it. And then I just double clicked to rename that. All right, so now we'll go and add a little bit more to this. So I think I'm happy with all the spacing we have up in this section, so I wanna work on these cards here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those. What is the size of this? 200 by 146. I'm just gonna drag this a little bit wider. Maybe to 155 looks pretty good. 
And for the space in between these, let's try 20 pixels for now. I think I'll leave that for now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select all these and remove the border. And on these two over here, I'm gonna select those holding shift. We're gonna apply a fill to them. And the color code I'm using on this is 1F, 1F, 1F. It's just slightly more gray than our background there. And this one, we're going to add this gradient that I have here. This gradient is DD2351 with a B51861. So I'm gonna select that fill and I'm just gonna adjust the gradient from the top to the bottom of this card like so. I think that looks pretty good. I'm also going to add that color to our future button down here. So we'll remove the border off that. And on this one, we're gonna have the gradient going from left to right uh, with the red color on the left and then we'll kind of fade the purple off a little bit so that it's not so noticeable like that. We'll round the corners and do that button later. Let's go back to the protection plan. So I think in here we wanna have some text telling about the protection plan and then we wanna have some way of adding a price and maybe a way to add more or edit these. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab the type tool with T on the keyboard and I'll just type out three year protection. Since I didn't add a text area, I just hit enter manually, but you can do this with a text area and then you can have it wrap, but that'll be fine for now. And we're gonna set this to our body sized font, which is 17 point. And do we need that at medium? It might be a little too bold, let me zoom out. Yeah, let's go back down to regular on this. And for the line height, we're gonna leave that at 21. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna put this in the top left corner of this and we're gonna go in 10 and down 10. See how that looks. Add a little bit more spacing. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that should be 15 spacing from the top and the left of the card, which it is, nice. And then down here in the bottom, we'll have the price. So let's just put this protection plan at $99.99. And on this one, we'll go up 10, but over 20, following that kind of asymmetrical flow of this design, how we have more space over here than we do over here. We'll just mimic that here. I'm gonna bump that up to a medium. Let's check our spacing. That looks pretty good. And we'll also align that to the right. So I'm gonna grab both of these and I'm gonna hold Alt. And we'll make sure we got 15 spacing there. And on this one, we'll just edit this text. Okay, so I've just changed that text and this is getting a little too close. So I think I'm actually gonna drop these down from 17 point to 15 point. Then we'll need to reposition those. Go up two pixels on both probably, just like that. And then I think we'll leave the prices a little bit higher. And instead of adding a price here, let's just put add to your protection plan. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. And on this third one, we'll just leave that one blank for now. So let's go ahead and work on this button now down here at the bottom. We'll go ahead and finish that off. So let's change this a little bit wider. So I'm gonna drag that out to about, let's go with 170. And then we'll just make that an even 50 for the height. Turn my guides back on with command semicolon. Make sure that's aligned to the right and then we'll center that up. I'm gonna group these together with command G. We'll align that with that group like so. And then command shift G to ungroup. Inside of this, we're gonna have some text and we'll just put next. And I'm gonna bump this up to 17 point and we'll also change this to medium. I'm gonna select the text and hold shift and grab that rectangle and we'll center align that inside of there. And also let's center align that text and then realign that just like that. So we're using these nice rounded corners on everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to our button cause this just doesn't look right. So I think we have 10 up here. So let's try that on this button and see how that looks. Maybe a little less. That looks pretty good. 
Okay, so I think that's all of this down here at the bottom. I think our protection plan is looking pretty good. Let's go up here and finish the rest of this. So what, how much roundness do we have on this tin? We've got that down there. That looks okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select both of these rectangles holding shift. I'm gonna remove the border and I'm gonna apply that black color that we're using down here, the 1F, 1F, 1F. Let's see if we can still see them, we can. Then I'm also going to select them and I'm gonna hit Command C, Command V to paste a duplicate. And then we're gonna drag in some images onto these new ones on top of those. So I'm gonna open up my folder and for the PC, we're just gonna use an NZXT PC. I like the way theirs looks. So I'm just gonna drag that in to that image placeholder. And then I also have a Alienware monitor. We'll just drag that into there. I will include these images in the project file. You can also Google them if you want different ones. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the card, double click to grab the image and I'm gonna hold Alt and drag a ways down probably pretty small. We don't want it to get too close to the edge. That looks pretty good. And we'll do the same thing for this image over here. Just drag it down. So I'll just position those until I like the way they look. It doesn't have to be too perfect. But that's pretty good. And then I think the last thing we need to do here is we need to add some contrast with these two buttons. So I'm actually going to set them to a lighter gray and these I think you have to apply the border on these there we go and so that color code is 3b 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 and it's just a little bit lighter than this color right here and so finally I'm going to remove our guides one more time with command semicolon and let's see how that looks let's go ahead and hit the live preview and we'll select our design go ahead and take a look at that I think that looks pretty good all right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this Adobe XD app design tutorial. If you're interested in seeing more screens of this particular app, I can design those and we can have maybe a part two to this. I'm going to have a poll in the top right corner of the screen right now. Just say yes or no if you want more to this tutorial. I'm thinking about doing maybe a checkout with a few other screens. I think it would be pretty cool if you guys want to see that. Also, let me know what you think of this design down in the comments below. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask there as well. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. All your support is greatly appreciated. Subscribe for more design related content and make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.